Hello everyone, very good afternoon to all of you. So guys, welcome back to another session of our discussion about modernities. Guys, so as per your exam preparation, for the sake of your exam preparation, I decided to start the modern each discussion today. So let's discuss the poets of modern age and the features of modern age poetry, especially modern age writings, literary writings. We will going to we are going to discuss about the features of modern age writings in this session. So I request all of you to join immediately to join this session immediately for joining this session so that we can start this session as soon as possible and we can discuss as much we can. Yes, Mariam, very good afternoon. Mariam, very good afternoon. So Mariam, yes, yesterday we didn't see right so due to some uh, issues i couldn't take the yg live sessions yesterday so how was your preparation mariam so how was your preparation right now also is it fine so today is 30th november hardly five days you will get for preparing here yeah? UGC net examination right on 6 December your examination will be coming so guys are you ready to give your examination are you thrilled yeah preparation is fine Mariam all right okay so let's wait uh, for a few for a few moments also to join our dear ones <coughs> sorry Yes. All right, so yes, students are joining. Okay. Fine. So guys, there is a question mark behind me, right? So what is this question mark? Yes. If you are a true aspirant of UGC net examination, then you should attend GATE 2024 examination also. And if you are only focusing on GATE for GATE 2024, then don't worry, IFAS is going to give you a golden opportunity that is Quizmania. So guys, number of questions and number of questions will be available in this Quizmania so that you can take part in this quiz Quizmania and you can check your knowledge you can check your preparation level at what level you are right now at what level you are right now for your EGC net examination or gate examination so 2nd December 2023 on 2nd December 2023 we are going to start our quiz mania from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. so in between 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. you can join according to your convenience and you can attempt this quiz program and certificates will be provided from my years and don't hesitate to participate in this quiz program in order to check your participation level and your preparation level okay so validate yourself evaluate yourself through this kinds of quiz programs okay so that is completely free hello Prakash after a long time you are here good afternoon Prakash very 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 good afternoon how are you Prakash so you are preparing for CUETPG, right, Prakash? But don't worry, those who are preparing for CUETPG, UGC, Net JRF, Gate Examination, you all are welcome to this quiz mania. Okay, so enhance your gate preparation with our IFAS and get downloaded this IFAS app in your mobile phone or laptop with this QR code and you can easily participate, you can easily enroll in this quiz mania with putting that is by putting your phone number and generating otp you are enrolled to this quiz mania and you can get you can start the quiz 
within 8 am in between 8 am and 8 pm okay prakash okay mariam yes so mariam prakash diksha everyone deependra anjali akshay everyone those who are watching this live session and every, everyone those who are watching this live session after this live session so don't miss out this opportunity go and catch this opportunity okay just participate quiz program nothing will happen okay yes let's start our class so let's start our discussion of modern age let me check everybody joined is anyone remaining let me check first yes okay so moving towards the poets of modern poetry let's check what are the features of modern poetry why this poetry is called modern poetry what are the features of modern literary things so modern poetry first of all modern poetry used free words so what is this free verse modern poetry often rejects traditional forms and structures before modern age uh, that is victorian age before victorian age we have romantic age before romantic age we have neoclassical age guys in neoclassical age the poets they follow the classic or the classical tradition rhyme meter line length such kind of things romantic poetry they rejected these kind of things they what they stressed sensibility they stressed the feelings emotions right but after romantic poetry in victorian age it is very less that people they started writing novels prose works were emerged but after victorian age we can see a certain change in the literary period in the literature in the writing style whether it is poetry whether it is fiction whether it is non-fiction there is a literary style there is a change happened in their writing styles so first of all according to the poets in the if we take the poetry that that is written in the modern age we can see free words as used so poets experiment see this modern age is a time as a period of experiments okay so they experimented as as much they could so poets experiment with a regular meter rhyme length allowing following for greater freedom of expression so irregular length irregular meter rhyme they allowed a greater form of expression through their poetry next thing is symbolism and imagism see what do you mean by symbolism and imagism they use symbols in order to convey an idea they use images word pictures word pictures they used images they used symbols they used in order to convert in order to convey ideas so symbolism and imagism play significant roles in modern poetry poets use vivid and often abstract images to convey emotions and ideas relying on the relying on the power relying on what relying on the power of symbols to evoke multiple layers of meaning see hidden meaning inner meaning connotative sorry connotative meaning denotative meaning such meanings are there so relying on the power of symbols to evoke multiple layers of meaning so free words they used symbolism and imagism was another thing see guys if you understand the idea if you understand the background of this age or what are the changes that occurred during this age then you can understand then you can solve the questions which is asked from reason and assertion see most of the questions questions from reason and assertion they are focusing on this kind of features especially modern poetry about modern poetry okay so merely understanding merely by hearting the poets and their works we have to understand the background the features of modern poetry also see subjectivity 
subjectivity was the next thing of modern poetry subjectivity so what do you mean by this subjectivity modern poets frequently explore personal experiences and emotions emphasizing individual perspectives and subjectivity okay so they expressed their own feelings they expressed their own what thoughts so that is subjectivity right so the focus shifts from the external world okay the focus shifts from what shifts from the external world to the internal with an increased emphasis on introspection with what with an increased emphasis on introspection so introspection was the special feature main feature of modern poetry next is stream of consciousness so what do you mean by this stream of consciousness some modern poets employ a stream of consciousness technique see stream of consciousness means presenting a flow of thoughts okay so stream of consciousness technique is very important see what just a moment yeah see what is that just a moment guys yeah see yeah so presenting the flow of thoughts and feelings of what feelings without a clear structured narrative without what without a clear structured narrative this technique seeks to capture the continuous and often chaotic nature of human thought okay so i request all of you that till your exam date don't bang this classes so i am planning to take yes coined by william james yes mariam stream of con yes james williams yes james williams mariam so see what i am talking us what i am seeing us till your exam date don't bang this exam don't bang this classes us okay see i am planning to conduct some sessions which is very 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 important for your gcse net examination so uh, i think that will help you a lot in revising things also so i will take the sessions as a revision okay exam mapping or revision so don't bang the classes try to att attempt try to attend the classes it is hardly one hour i am taking hardly one hour so don't bang this one hour classes just uh, join those classes on time just interact with with us with me and if you are facing any problem within 5 days we can solve this problem so just inform me prior okay yeah so some modern poets employ a stream of consciousness technique presenting a flow of thoughts and feelings without a clear structured narrative the technique technique seeks to capture the continuous and often chaotic nature of human thought so stream of consciousness james williams coined this term stream of consciousness and molly bloom see in which uh, in which novel we can see molly bloom ulysses right ulysses right tell me james joyce yeah just a moment what happened okay fine that is resolved okay so here yes james joyce ulysses so in this novel also the character molly bloom we can see 
what we can see stream of consciousness okay so this technique seeks to capture the continuous and often chaotic nature of human thought all right so yes moving towards the next characteristics fragmentation is a very important thing guys fragmentation if we take ts eliot's wasteland if we take ts eliot's wasteland see fragmented lines are there fragmented thoughts fragmented narrations are there so fragmentation is a very 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 important feature very unique feature of modern poetry fragmented structures reflecting the fragmented nature of contemporary life okay so contemporary life is reflecting through fragmented structures so poets may use disjointed language okay poets may use what disjointed language fragmented syntax what is that fragmented syntax and non linear narratives also okay so and what non linear narratives to mirror the complexities of the modern world okay to mirror what to mirror the complexities of the modern world then we have yes mouse me very good afternoon after long time mouse me i am i am seeing you very 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 happy mouse me don't bang the glasses mouse me okay yes moving towards the next question not next question i am still in the hangover of our pyq series okay so urban themes were there so when we were doing this pyq series i think lots of students were attended on time but when i started the conceptual lectures lots of students are bunking the class because they think yes it is conceptual lecture we can uh, see the recorded uh, videos also uploaded videos also but don't think about that if you have time if you have if you are convenient for this time try to join on live session so that we can interact if you want to share some thoughts if you want to share some doubts ask some doubts you can ask i can clear okay this is the only that we can get in touch together that's why okay mouse me mariam prakash all right so fragmentation urban theme so with the rise of urbanization <laughs> here we can see what urbanization modern poetry often explores themes related to city life industrialization and the impact of modernity on society so poets grapple with the alienating effects <coughs> sorry poets grapple with the alienating effects of urban living and the loss of traditional values so urban themes are there fragmentation is there free verse is there okay next character is next feature of modern poetry is social and political commentary how many modern poets engage with social and political issues using their work as a medium for commentary and critique this reflects the turbulent times in which they lived with events like world war first and second influencing their perspectives also so many modern poets engage with social and political issues okay so world war first world war second such kind of event if such kind of events were also done by the poets see guys war poetry is a main feature of modern age modern poetry okay war poetry so in neo classical age we have graveyard poetry just like uh, thomas gray thomas parnell right the poets like thomas gray thomas parnell so today is modern age dear so today's topic is poets of modern age and their works so before moving to more poets of modern age let me uh, let me share some features of modern poetry and modern age okay mouse me yes so many modern poets engage with social and political issues so that is war poetry is a co product of modern poetry okay war poetry just like graveyard poetry in the neo classical age next is experimentation with language see experimentation with language what do you mean by this experimentation with language 
See modern poets, modern poets experiment with language itself, challenging traditional norms of grammar and syntax. Okay, so challenging what? Challenging the traditional norms of grammar and syntax. They never bothered about the grammatical part. They never bothered about the syntax. They only bothered about the thoughts, feelings. Okay, subjectivity. All right. See. Yes, Sunita. Very good afternoon, Sunita. Oh my God, everyone is here after a long time, right, Sunita? Okay, so Sunita, hardly you will get only five days for your examination. So before five days of your examination, how do you feel, Sunita? What about your preparation? Everything. Is it fine? All right. So. Continue with the experimentation with the language. Modern poets experiment with the language itself, challenging traditional norms of grammar and syntax. This may involve the use of neologism. Okay, this may involve the use of neologism. Neologism, neologism means new things. Neo means what? Neo means what? Neo means new. Neologism means new things. Yes, Sunita, you are nervous. No, no, no. Don't be nervous. Okay. Don't be nervous. So, free, see, feel relaxed. Just revise the things and feel relaxed. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, Sunita. Don't be nervous. All right. So, unconventional wordplay is there. See. Perfect example is T.S. Eliot's, uh, T.S. Eliot's uh, word wasteland. Unconventional word plays there and the incorporation of colloquial language will also be there. Incorporation of colloquial language. See, next is allusions and intertextuality. Next is what allusions and intertextuality. So, modern poets frequently draw what Modern poets frequently draw on a wide range of cultural, historical and literary references. And what modern poets frequently draw on a wide range of cultural, historical and literary, literary references. Allusions and intertextuality are used to enrich the layers of meaning in a poem and to create connections with a broader cultural context. So, allusions and intertextuality, then rejection of romanticism. They rejected romanticism. Why? Modern poetry often rejects the idealized and sentimental aspects of romanticism. Instead, it embraces a more realistic, sometimes disillusioned and fragmented portrayal of life. That is why. Okay. Yes, guys, moving towards the next announcement from IFAS. See, IFAS is going to do going to conduct a free scholarship test on December on UGC Net for UGC Net 2023. So time is 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So time is 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. On 3rd December, on 3rd December 2023, on 3rd December 2023, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., see, you will be having a free scholarship test of Paper 1, Geography, Computer Science, Management, Economics, English, Commerce. So, English is here. Yes, Sunita, Mariam, Mausmi, Prakash. Before your examination, before going for your examination, try to attend this free scholarship test. Okay, so surprises are waiting for you. And guys, those who are watching this video, please share this information to your friends also. Free scholarship test is waiting for you. So just visit our website that is www.ifasonline.com. Just enroll in this uh, program by putting your phone number and generating OTP. Click on English subject. You will get the entire things inside that. Okay. Or just download our app, IFAS app 
and just put your phone number and generate OTP so that in that way also you can enroll in this free scholarship test okay so don't miss out this session all right moving towards <clears throat> see right now we saw the poets of modern age sorry right now we saw the features of modern age right the features of modern age so here we have from here we are going to see what from here we are going to see the poets of modern age and their very 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 important poems also see when we take modern age see W. B. Eats, William Butler Eats, one of the main uh, writer, one of the main poet of modern age, from 1865 to 1939, he was an Irish poet. So that's why he was a prominent figure of Irish revival. Irish revival. Okay, he was a prominent figure of. Irish revival so he was a dramatist and one of the most prominent figure of the 20th century literature he was born in Dublin WB Eats was born in Dublin Ireland and his early years were marked by a strong interest in Irish folklore okay so his early years were marked by a strong interest in Irish folklore and mythology which had a significant influence on his later work so WB Eats let's see what are the contributions by WB Eats before going to that, Eats was a key figure in the Irish literary revival. So Irish literary revival which is a movement that sought to promote the rebirth of Irish cultural traditions. Okay, So that was a movement in order to make, in order to promote the rebirth of Irish cultural traditions. Then he co-founded the Abbey Theatre in Dublin. Perhaps it is known as the National Theatre of National Theatre of Ireland, Abbey Theatre. It is known as the National Theatre of Ireland. Okay, of Ireland. So guys, so guys, this is Abbey Theatre. He co-founded the Abbey Theatre, which played a crucial role in the development of Irish drama. In 1923, Eats was awarded the Nobel Prize. So, W.B. Eats got the Nobel Prize. W.B. Eats was a Nobel, Nobel laureate. So, in 1923, Eats was awarded, awarded with Nobel Prize in literature for his always inspired poetry, which is a highly artistic form, which is a highly artistic form that gives expression to the spirit of a whole nation okay so in which year wb eats was awarded by the nobel prize in 1923 see moving towards the contributions of wb eats the lake isle of innisfree guys i studied this small poem the lake isle of innisfree might be it can be uh, it can be said as a sonnet see i studied this poem when i was doing my higher secondary education from that moment also from that moment wb Eat, eats was in my heart because this lake isle of industry which is very 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 soothing poem which is very heart touching poem and it evokes a a pious nostalgia okay nostalgia is there then the second coming second coming is very 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 important so we will discuss about second coming separately then sailing to byzantium which is another very important work of wb eats <coughs> then is next is the wild swans at cooley next uh, next is easter 1916 then when you are old when you are old hello reshma hello hi very good evening reshma welcome back to another session where are you it's half an hour dear 
half an hour we have completed some things okay within this half an hour all right so you will get another half an hour lecture don't worry so when you are old the clothes of heaven okay next is what the clothes of heaven then among school children then leda and the swan which is also very important the stolen child then a prayer for my daughter the song of wandering that is angels then to a friend whose work has come to nothing then an irish airman forces his death then crazy jane talks with the bishop then the fascination of words difficult then the circus animals dissertation desertion which is also very important the circus animals desertion that is desertion that is written um in his old age w b eats old age and it was a symbolic poetry of uh, w b eats feelings so this is circus animals desertion which means just like that w b eats uh, as a draining he is he was draining with the ideas okay okay he doesn't have any idea for writing poetry so that is a the theme of this the circus animals desertion then he wishes for the clothes of heaven next workers a coat and next workers the collar bone of a hair so please not down the down that these are the main works of wb eats see while speaking about the second coming while speaking about the poem the second coming which is a poem written by w b eats one of the most celebrated irish poets of the 20th century it was written in 1919 during a period of significant social and political upheaval okay during what during a period of significant social and political upheaval particularly in the aftermath of world war first particularly we can see what in the aftermath of world war first and the irish war of independence okay so this second coming is about the poem is known for its vivid and apocalyptic imagery okay so the second coming is a prominent poem by w b eats so the poem is known for its vivid and apocalyptic imagery and it reflects eats concerns about the turbulent times in which he lived okay turbulent times in which he lived the title the second coming refers to the idea of a second coming of christ okay so the symbolic meaning of this title is the second coming of christ but it uses this religious motif as a metaphor for the chaotic and uncertain state of the world see from the uh, horizon from the horizon a huge gigantic figure is coming it is not the christ but something which make which can make chaotic and uncertain state of the world so that second coming is very afraid the second coming this uh, this poem so the theme of this poem or that process second coming is very upra that is very afraid and which is very 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 chaotic making okay making chaotic is there all right see apart from second coming so we have some famous lines from this poem second coming that is turning and turning in the widening gyre the falcon cannot hear the falconer which is a very 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 important line from the second coming from this poem turning and turning in the widening gyre the falcon cannot hear the falconer so here we can see the gyre which is a spiral or vortex that represents a world spiraling out of control okay so the gyre which is a what that represents the world spiraling out of control so the falcon cannot hear the falconer which means 
Falcon means the world. Falconer means the goat. So the world cannot hear the goat's calling. The control lost. Okay, the control over the things lost. Okay, so that is a symbolic. So this, uh, yeah. So this line is a symbolic line. Okay. So next is William Henry Davis. After W B Eats, we have William Henry Davis. Okay, William Henry Davis, who was a Welsh poet and writer. Who was what? Who was a Welsh poet and writer? Often associated with the modernist movement in literature. Okay, often associated with what? Often associated with the modernist movement in literature. Born in Newport. Born in what? Born in Newport, Wales, Davis led an, an unconventional day that is born in Newport, Wales, Davis led an unconventional and adventurous life. An unconventional an unconventional and what adventurous life which significantly influenced his poetry. Okay, which significantly influenced his poetry. So Davis is best known for his collection of poems titled The Autobiography of a Super Tramp. What is that? The Autobiography of a Super Tramp, which is a collection, which is a poetry collection. The Autobiography of a Super Tramp, which is published in the year 1908. Very important thing it is, don't miss out this point, which is published in 1908. Eight. This work reflects his experiments, experiences, that is experiences, experiences as a tramp. What do you mean by this tramp? Who is a homeless wanderer? Okay, a tramp means a homeless wanderer. So this work reflects his experiences as a tramp who is a homeless wanderer in the united kingdom and this united states okay in the united kingdom and the united states so william henry davis all right one of his most famous poems is leisure okay so very important poem most famous poem is what very most important poem is leisure which reflects on the value of taking time to appreciate the simple pleasures in life amidst the hustle and bustle of modern modern society so leisure so here we have very famous line from lines from leisure what is this life if full of care full of care we have no time to stand and stare okay what has this life a full of care we have no time to stand and stare so this are the famous lines of these are the famous lines of leisure by by whom by henry davis william henry davis all right okay so guys let me introduce let me remind one more thing that is about west bengal, west bengal set examination see you have free scholarship test for this west bengal set examination both pay for both paper one and english okay for both paper one and english you just go and uh, download our app that is ifas app from our website that is www.ifasonline.com or just call in this number 9172266388 just inquire how to enroll in this free scholarship test see that will be conducting from 3rd december 2023 for paper 1 it is from 10:30 am to 11:30 am for paper 2 it is from 12 pm to 2 pm so you can attend this scholar free scholarship test on time okay on time just enroll within our app just enroll in our app just put your just give your phone number and generate otp so that you can enroll and just 
test uh, just uh, just select free scholarship test just select english also so that you will get the free scholarship test for paper 1 and english okay so don't miss out this opportunities this opportunities are exclusively for you guys exclusively for you okay so don't miss out this opportunity see guys next point of modern age is alfred noyes who is that alfred noyes from 1880 to 1958 so before going to alfred noyes reshma sunida mausmi prakash mariam deepkesh anjali everyone are you able to follow these things do you have any queries any questions sunita reshma yes no nothing no okay fine is it is it fine all of you okay fine see alfred noise moving towards alfred noise who was not primarily associated with the modernist movement and poetry instead he is often categorized as a traditional or late romantic poet okay so he is often referred as a traditional or late romantic poet so the modernist movement in literature including poetry emerged in the early 20th century and was characterized by a break from traditional forms and a focus on experimentation with language and form that's why we can include alfred noise on the last ages of romantic poetry that is victorian age modern poetry okay first age of so he was sorry he was there on the first phases in the first first phases of modern period see coming about the poems of noise the highway man which perhaps is which is perhaps his most famous work the highway man which is a narrative poem so this highway man is a narrative poem about the love between a highway man and the innkeeper's daughter okay so in the love poem narrative poem which is love between highway man and the innkeeper's daughter that is the highway man by noise then we have another work that is drake so drake means what drake is a long narrative poem that tells the story of sir francis drake okay so that tells the adventurous things of sir francis drake and his adventures next is the barrel organ see the barrel organ is a poem that reflects on the passage of time and the inability of change okay it reflects on the passage of time and the inability of change so apart from those poems we have 40 singing seamen 40 singing seamen means uh, which is a collection of poems including the title poem which celebrates the life of sailors okay including the title poem which celebrates the life of sailors that is 40 singing seamen then we have tales of the mermaid tavern okay tales of the mermaid tavern which is a collection of poems that pays homage to the elizabethan era okay that pays what that pays homage to the elizabethan era and figures like christopher marlowe and sir walter Riley. so christopher marlowe walter lay they were the main figures of elizabethan age so tales of the mermaid tavern is a homage poem to elizabethan era so we can see the mention we can see the reference of elizabethan figures figures in the elizabethan age like christopher marlowe and sir water really so next is the talk bearers okay the torch bearers see the torch bearers 
which is a collection of poems that explores themes of war and the human spirit okay which explores what which explores themes of war and the human spirit the torch bearers so then we have next poems the last voyage the last voyage is a poem that reflects on the theme of death and the afterlife okay it reflects on the theme of death last voyage and the afterlife then watchers of the sky watchers of the sky which is a collection of poems that touches upon the various themes okay that touches upon various themes including nature love and the human experience okay love and what and the human experience then we have the edge of the abyss okay then we have what the edge of the abyss which is a collection of poems written during world war second okay collection of poems written during world war second addressing the changes and uncertainties of the time then we have shadows on the down and other poems okay shadows on the down and other poems which is another collection that includes a variety of poems on different themes okay shadows another collection that includes a variety of poems on different themes shadows on the down and other poems see after noise so noise contributed lots of poems lots of things to modern poetry so then we have Siegfried Sassoon. So Mariam, Sunita, Reshma, Mausmi, Prakash, and all everyone. Uh, sorry, and all. So guys, do you know Siegfried Sassoon? In which moment, in which group of poetry poets he included? Mainly Siegfried Sassoon. Yes, do you know? Lost generation, yes, six word, yes. Siegfried Sassoon is associated with okay. We can say lost generation, okay. Apart from that, Siegfried Sassoon. War poetry. Okay. War poetry is there. Alright, Sunda. So Siegfried Sassoon from 1886 to 1967 was an english okay was an english poet writer and soldier he was he is best known for his poignant and often anti-war poetry okay anti-war poetry which emerged during during and after world war first so sassoon served as an officer in british army okay he served as an officer in british army during the war and earned recognition for his bravery so he earned recognition for his bravery receiving the military cross for his actions so he received the military cross for his actions see in 1917 what we can see in 1917 Sassoon wore a public a public letter okay in 1970 17 Sassoon wore a public letter of protest against the war which he published in a British newspaper this letter see this letter was known this letter the sorry this letter known as the soldiers declaration so this is very important this letter is known as the soldiers declaration or the statement declared Sassoon's refusal to continue serving in the military. 
so in 1917 sasson wrote a public letter of protest against the war which he published in a british newspaper this letter known as the soldiers declaration okay this letter known as the soldiers declaration or this statement declared sasson's refuse declared what declared sasson's refusal to continue serving in the military rather than facing a court martial rather than facing what rather than facing a court martial sasun was sent to a military sasun was sent toward sasun was sent to a military hospital sasun was sent to where a military hospital for treatment of shell shock so he was suffered from a shell shock and now recognized as post traumatic stress disorder so this during this time during that uh, treatment uh, during that this time he continued to write poetry that reflected his anti war sentiments okay he continued to write he continued to write poetry that reflected his anti war sentiments some of his notable works include the old huntsman okay some of his notable works include what include the old huntsman so very important thing the old huntsman and the counter attack and other poems next is what counter attack and other poems all right counter attack and other poems so the old huntsman counter attack and other poems in 1918 Okay fine after the war after the war sasun continued to write poetry okay <coughs> sorry <coughs> sorry so after the war what did sasun do so sasun continued to write the poetry as well as prose and he published several autobiographical works also okay he published several autobiographical works including the well known memoirs of a fox hunting man which is a which is an autobiographical work okay memoirs of a fox hunting man next is and memoirs of an infantry officer okay memoirs of an infantry officer in 1930 so memoirs of a fox hunting man and memoirs of an infantry officer in 1930 all right so next is so moving towards the next poet so before moving towards the next poet so biggest offer is here guys on test series biggest offer is here on test series so guys for english the lowest prize ever you will be getting in the lowest prize ever starting us just starting at just 99 rupees you will get our test series guys just 99 rupees by now so guys you will get 100 questions 100 questions from each topic okay you will get 100 questions from each topic and out of 10 units you will get 1000 questions so this is not a simple silly thing your examination is coming so if you want this test series just dial our number or just use just go and visit our website that is www.ifasonline.com just use this promo code ifas30 ifas30 and buy this test series bulk of bunch of test series for 99 rupees okay so don't miss out the things all right moving towards the next poet he is t e hume okay he is t e hume whose full name is thomas arnas hume so he was a british critic and poet who played a significant role in the development of modernist thought in the early 20th century he was born on september 16th 1883 okay he was born on where he was born on september 16th 1883 in enton stratfordshire england and died on september 28 and died on september 28 1917 during world war first so he was died during world war first see yeah 
hum was associated with the images movement okay very important thing that was images movement T A Hume was associated with images movement, which sought to bring clarity and precision to poetry, moving away from the more ornate and flowery language of the Victorian era. He emphasized what he emphasized. He emphasized a return to classical values and a rejection of romanticism. Hume's ideas were influential in shaping the direction of modernist literature and art all right so that is the thing next we have after t e hume so next we have the works of t e hume that is autumn about the dog conversation a city sunset embankment at night before the war images old track that is trenches said trenches sent along the embankment next we have so these are the poems ne these are the poems of these are the poems of t a hume then we have richard richard aldington right richard aldington so richard aldington was an english writer and poet associated with the modernist movement so he was associated with whom he was associated with the modernist movement in literature during the early 20th century he played a significant role in the image images movement a poetic movement that emerged in the early 20th century and sought to emphasize clarity precision and economy of language and poetry so we have aldington that is aldington was born in portsmouth england he began his literary career as a poet and novelist and was one of the founding members of the images movement again images movement along with the poets as, such as extra pound so extra pound and hilda do little see here we have the works of aldington images of war first one is images of war then we have destruction okay destruction then we have novels of aldington that is death of a hero which was published in the year 1929 which is considered a modernist classic and draws heavily from his war experiences all right okay next yes guys next we have w h auden so w h auden is very important okay w h auden is very important C W H Auden was indeed a prominent modernist poet okay so he was entered a prominent modernist poet born on february 21st okay born on which year february 21st 1907 in york england and later becoming a neutralized american citizen okay later becoming what a neutralized american citizen so auden's works what we can see is auden's works are characterized by their intellectual depth complex themes and innovative use of language c one of his most famous early works is the age of anxiety okay one of his most famous early works is the age of anxiety which won the pulitzer prize for poetry so the age of anxiety won the pulitzer prize for poetry so this long poem reflects the anxieties and uncertainties of the post world war second era so w h auden's notable poems include funeral blues okay funeral blues muse des biox arts september 19 september 1 1939 so he also collaborated with christopher isherwood on plays and other works so christopher isherwood with christopher isherwood he also collaborated with the plays also okay so coming to the uh, yes coming to the works of wh auden we saw funeral blues funeral blues that is the poem is all known also known as 
stop all the clocks okay stop all the clocks and it became widely known after being featured in the film four weddings and a funeral so funeral blues has another name that is stop all the clocks then step september 1st we saw then sh the shield of achilles okay the shield of achilles next is what sorry next is the memory of wb eats okay the memory the memory of uh, wb eats then the age of anxiety then what the age of anxiety then lullaby in 1937 as i walked out one evening okay so guys with this i am just concluding the modern poets so some of you have still doubt why ma'am is don't not uh, what uh, discussing about ts eliot right see ts eliot is a separate chapter of modern age and don't forget that we will discuss about ts eliot tomorrow same time in the same channel and those who are watching for the first time don't forget to subscribe this channel and please click the bell button and please give me like and if this session is very helpful don't forget to share the session to your friends and co-aspirants so guys that's all sunita mariam reshma mausmi prakash i'm just winding up this session and we will continue this modern age poetry and poets along with ts eliot tomorrow okay So bye guys see you happy learning